All right. Friend fucking up. Dear Bill, my 26-year-old friend, in my opinion, is in deep with a lady. Uh, she's around 30 with three kids. Oh, Jesus. And is recently divorced. Good Lord, dude. Is he wearing like a weighted vest just walking around too, to add even more difficulty to his fucking day? Uh, they've only been together for a few months, but he's already got car seats and shit in his cars to tote these heathens around. He's not what I would call a ladies' man, so anytime he gets into a relationship, he falls in love quick. And you know what? The world needs dopes, too. You can't help him. He said, my concern is that he's going to end up playing daddy to three kids that aren't his for the rest of his life, which in my opinion sounds like a goddamn nightmare. Well, those kids also need a father. He's doing something really admirable. But if he's doing it for the right fucking reason, it's admirable. If he's just a fucking dope with low self-esteem, you got to pull him out of this, man. You know? You got to walk up to those fuck his fucking car and punch out the side windows like the Terminator did to the windshield, and you throw those car seats over the fucking guardrail. All right? No, I'm not saying to do that. All right. Anyways, um, my question is, do I talk to the kid and let him know that, the, that all of his friends think he's going down the wrong path here? He's the kind of guy who doesn't handle those talks very well, so I could see him going ballistic. Should I let him know or should I let him crash and burn one way or the other with this? I realize watching this train wreck for the foreseeable future makes me a shitty friend, but as, a, but as guys, these conversations suck dick. Uh, listen, dude, you know, he needs to grow up, man, if he can't handle constructive criticism. If you just say, look, I'm just looking out for you, all right? You're going to go from being a single man with all the options in the world to a, a committed man with three kids instantly. Um, if this is what you want to, I don't know, maybe that'll drive him further into it. I mean, I, and I also think that a lot of reasons why, like, he doesn't do well with those conversations is because if he is somebody that just kind of gets into something and gets trapped in something and doesn't know how to express himself, that usually adds to a lot of anger. How do I know this? Because I've been that guy. Um, I was very like uh, withdrawn. If anybody said hello to me, then I was friends with them. And I, there was no asking what I wanted, what I needed, what I was looking for. I didn't figure that out to very late in life, which is probably why I didn't get married till I was 45. But at least I wasn't dumb enough to get, uh, to, to, uh, get married to someone that I, I wasn't. I always knew enough to be like, all right, I got to get out of this. But I, I, I was not good at that at all. And I was a very angry guy. Um, I don't know. I don't know what his deal is. Or his psychological fucking backgrounds. He got an overbearing father. I have no fucking idea. I'm not Dr. Phil or Johnny Weissmiller here. Whoever the fuck I'm supposed to use as a, res or as a reference. But, um, you know. Why does Johnny Weissmiller sound like a doctor? He's the actor who played Tarzan, by the way. Um, anyways, all right. Asking. So I would just say, uh, you know what, dude? Dude, fuck his moodiness. Fucking baby. Just tell him what you think. You know? Just sit down and just say, listen, man, as a friend, I have to say my piece on this thing. All right. Uh, I just want to make sure that you, you know what you're doing here because you are taking on an unbelievable responsibility and you are effectively ending your youth immediately dealing with this woman and these three fucking kids. I mean, it's one thing to get married, have a kid, you know, fall in love, get married. Right. And then have a kid. Then you deal with that. Then you have another kid. You deal with that. You're just going, bam. Married. Kids. Three kids. Got to pick them up to daycare and whatever. It's like, yeah, you don't need to do that. And I know there's a lot of people out there who are divorced with kids. are probably annoyed me right now. But you know what? I don't give a fuck. This isn't about you. This is about a man who's 26 years old, who he's got the world at his fucking feet. All right? If this is what he wants, if it's what he wants, you got to support it. But if he's being a fucking dope, say your piece so you don't have to feel bad. All right? And then later, when he talks to you about it, he's going to have to say, like, you know what, dude, you were right. And he'd be like, you know what, it's all right. It's all right. You can crash on my couch.